The question of converting an array to a list in Java is quite popular. So let me show you different methods you can use. Now we have an array of integer objects. Take note of the type of array we have. This is an array of integer objects. We can use the arrays.asList to convert this array to a list. You can see we have a list. This is a simple way. However, if you want a mutable list by that, for example, let's say I want to add another element. If we run it, you will have an error. It's unsupported. So what you want is probably a mutable list. If you want an immutable list, this is fine. But let's say you want a list that you can add new elements. You will pass the arrays.asList to the constructor of the array list when you're creating a new array list. So we can say new array list and passing arrays.asList while converting the array to a list. Using that method, you can see that we can add a new element, 40. This converted an array of integer, integer objects to a list. However, however, normally people might be dealing with primitive int arrays. Now, if we do arrays.asList for that, you might have a funny output. Remember that lists deal with reference types. They don't deal with primitive types. So if you pass an array, it may take it as a whole object and the output you will get might not be what you want. I am going to use int stream. Now int stream is a stream of primitive int values. I have some tutorials on streams. I will get the array, make a stream of that array. Then I'll call boxed. I get a stream of the elements. What boxed does is it boxes these primitive int values into integer objects. Because we want a list of integer objects and not primitive int values. Then the last statement, collect, simply as it is stated, collect these elements. But how? That is why we have collectors.list passed in. That means collect these elements as a list. It returns the value and we save the value in the list variable. Now we have our list. Take note, because I am using var, I have access to var because I am using modern Java. Check out my tutorial on modern Java.